prepare your pickaxes and shovels, we're going digging for some facts. Welcome to WatchMojo.com, and today we'll be counting down our picks for the top 10 Minecraft facts. For this list, we're looking at those weird, wonderful, and astounding little details about Mojang's creations that caught our attention. Yeah, maybe it's time. Number 10, Infinite World. Though nothing is endless, Minecraft makes a noble effort of aiming for that goal. The game loads each individual world based on your computer's available RAM, which determines the size of the playable area. However, the game continues to load chunks of land beyond what is playable. More on chunks later. Thus, this overworld is theoretically infinite, estimated to be at least 17 times the surface area of our real-life planet. If you were playing the game before the 8.1 version of the beta, you could reach the Far Lands, which technically represented the end of the infinite world, but that would mean a 12.5 million block trip from your original spawn point. Number 9. Big Chunks Speaking of large things, even the building blocks are massive in scope. Minecraft worlds consist of singular blocks grouped together into larger chunks called chunks. This alone sounds relatively impressive, but the exact numbers are actually astounding. Each chunk of a world is made up of 65,000 in-game blocks, mostly consisting of the air around you. There's apparently no such thing as a vacuum in Minecraft. Even the open air is counted as a block. Number 8. Creeper, the coding error. One mistake can lead to great and terrible things. So it was with the creation of the Creeper, the green hissing monster with a penchant for exploding at the most inconvenient times. Whoa. The story goes that Notch was developing pigs for the game, but got the dimensions all wrong. The creature was tall and thin, not short and stout, but Notch decided to run with it. They gave the monster a bizarre face and an explosive property, thus ensuring builders would never have a good night's rest. Number 6. April Fools of Thrones In the game of Fools, you win or you laugh out loud. Maybe both, given how amusing Mojang's fake update for April Fools 2014 turned out to be. Wait, no, not that one. If you booted up Minecraft on April 1st, you were treated to an a cappella rendition of the opening theme from HBO's fantasy series Game of Thrones. Partially in honor of the show's then impending fourth season, and partially a nod to a resource pack provided by Element Animation, this was an all round fun Easter egg. Dig, 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 dig. Element Pack also provided new sound effects for everything in the game, courtesy of their own voices. We're sorry we ruined Minecraft today. No, we are not. Number 6. The Denmark Replica. Something might be rotten in Denmark, but this is pretty fresh. As a means of getting youth interested in geography, the Danish Geodata Agency underwent the task of building a one-to-one -one scale recreation of their entire country. The resulting map took up a full terabyte of data and stretched for about 4,000 billion blocks, with special attention paid to buildings in major cities. We don't know how you did it, Denmark, but we're proud that you did. Number 5. Pumpkin of Safety Move aside, Great Pumpkin, there's a new squash in town. It's no secret that the ghoul-like Endermen are among the most unsettling of Minecraft's creatures, with their unpleasant sounds and their tendency to linger in the dark. Fortunately, there's a solution. Stick a pumpkin on your head. Yes, wearing a spare pumpkin as your would-be helmet apparently keeps Endermen from turning hostile, saving you oodles of stress in the process. Ooh. Number 4. Microsoft's Big Purchase Have you sold out to the evil corporations yet? Mm, no, not yet. We hope not to. Success brings buyers, and buyers bring paychecks. This was what defined the Microsoft Corporation's decision in late 2014 to buy out Mojang and the Minecraft IP for a whopping 2.5 
billion dollars. Yes, the deal is real. Mojang is being bought by Microsoft. Microsoft stated that it sought Minecraft as a means of strengthening its developments in mobile gaming, to say nothing of the other opportunities that may come of the purchase. Though there were doubts about the direction Minecraft would take in the deal's aftermath, most would agree that the game's quality and sense of creativity has remained intact. We respect the brand and independent spirit that has made Minecraft great, and it will carry on the tradition of innovation to move the franchise forward. Number three, Notch's success. When I was young and we didn't have a lot of money at all. Mm -hmm. If I ever get rich, I'm not gonna be one of those boring rich people who doesn't spend money. Right. Let it never be said that money is wasted on the young. Right now I'm just, you know, buying houses in LA and partying. Departing from Mojang after the buyout, co-founder Marcus Notch Pearson sought to distance himself from game development for a while, and several truckloads of that sweet, sweet Microsoft money certainly helped. Notch settled in Hollywood, purchasing a $70 million manor, one that was also being considered by Beyonce and Jay-Z, which was the highest price ever paid for a house in Hollywood. Cheers, Notch, you certainly hit the jackpot. You could possibly never release a game again. Yeah, and okay. I would be fine with that. Number two, the education of Stockholm. Video games as education, we finally live to see the day. The Victor Rydberg School in Stockholm has established compulsory lessons in Minecraft, aimed at their 13-year-old students. The staff believe that by implementing the game into their curriculum, they can better reinforce the importance of ideas such as city planning and environmental awareness. Approximately 180 students are instructed to develop virtual worlds and contribute what details they can think of. Electric grids and water supply networks come to mind. It's inspiring to see creativity enforced and embraced so readily. Before we unveil our top pick, here are a few honorable mentions. Number one, the influence of Infiniminer. Minecraft was not born of nothing, but rather shaped from something basic. Its progenitor was Infiniminer, a small-scale multiplayer PC game about collecting precious minerals and building structures with them. Sound familiar? Notch has outright admitted that the game influenced Minecraft's development, and it shows throughout its similarities. However, Infiniminer was unique in its competitive design and details like character selection, which made it distinctive in its own right while still being a cornerstone to Minecraft's legacy. Do you agree with our list? It's like, were you serious? What's your favorite fact about Minecraft? For more crafty top 10s published every day, be sure to subscribe to WatchMojo.com. Grass, 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 grass. Grass.